Hello everyone, my name is Suman Shah from BISP Solution and uh, today we will discuss on defining the calendars in Oracle eBusiness Suite R12 2.10 version for general ledger creation. As you know, for creating chart of accounts, we required four C's and uh, that is chart of accounts with the two mandate flex field qualifiers, which is one is balancing segment qualifier and another one is natural accounts qualifier. And uh, the another is a functional currency, which is seeded and uh, accounting calendar, which has natural, special and fiscal calendar. And the sub ledger accounting method or accounting convention, it's also known as, which is a seeded one, which is also known by name called SLAM. In short, in short, sub ledger accounting also known as SLAM. So, first we will go deep dive on the natural and special and physical calendar. Natural calendar generally consists of 12 months and uh, it's naturally followed sequence from month from January to December. Whereas special calendar, any calendar not following the natural month is called special calendar. For example, in India, our accounting calendar starts from April to March. And in Australia, it is from July to June and Costa Rica, it starts from October to September. So whatever the calendar is created, it is called as special calendar. And about the physical calendar, so the international financial reporting standards allows the up to a period of 52 to 53 weeks as an accounting period. So it is also known as physical calendar. And a large number of companies using 50 to 53 weeks as a physical calendar for their reporting and financial tracking purposes. So, and physical year calendar varies between businesses and countries. The physical calendar may refer to a year using physical reporting or income tax reporting purpose also. So, first we will define period type in the EBS. So, we will navigate to the period type window. Then we will enter the unique name for the accounting period type. Then we enter the number of accounting period per year. And in fourth step, we will enter the year type to specify whether the period is a part of physical or calendar year. And then we will enter a description of the period type, which is optional. And then we will save the our work. And after defining, then we will define the calendar. We navigate to the accounting calendar window and enter the name and description of the calendar. Add the period that makes the calendar year and save the work. So we will navigation process, log in with the general ledger super user responsibility. Out here is there is a responsibility and uh, navigation will be set up financials, calendar type to create calendar type and then we will, again, for creating accounting calendar, the navigation is set up, financials, calendar, accounting calendar. Now we will navigate to the application, how the tasks are performed. And 
login with the new search. So you can see I got system administrator responsibility and general ledger super user responsibility. So first I will click with the general ledger super responsibility to set up and financials and calendar and type. Java application form will open. So I will create from here. So there are a lot of calendars are there. So from torch, you can select the torch. So you can see lot of calendars are already defined in the instance application. So we will create our own uh, calendar type. So, yes. So, Total year that is 13. The year type is calendar or fiscal. So I'm taking the calendar year and the description you can write 12 months plus one adjusting. Interesting period. We'll save that scene. You can see that calendar has been calendar type has been grayed out. Now we'll navigate to the next. So we can query the same. Setup, financials, calendar, type, control F11. You can see the calendar, which is OPS. There we are. So we have created a period type OPS underscore ACC calendar. Okay. Now we will navigate. Again, we will navigate to setup. Financials. Then calendars. Then accounting. We'll give the name, a proper name and convention, OPS underscore CLN calendar.
now we will take starting from january and type as ops about so you can see that type has been selected financial year 2022 and the first quarter will be first quarter i will select the first quarter the number is 1 and 01 january 22 to 31st january 2022 and the name is coming as january 22 and fab ops about 2022 first quarter second that is 01 of the fab 2022 it is 28 fab then select march ops Twenty-two, first quarter, third, zero one MAR, twenty-two, thirty-first March, then April, OPS, two zero twenty-two, second quarter, fourth, zero eight, APR. A B R twenty two. That is thirty thirtieth A B R twenty two. A B S two zero twenty two. Second quarter. Twenty one. Twenty-two. Thirty-first May, two zero twenty-two. Then June, two PS, two zero twenty-two. Second quarter, six. Then June, two zero twenty-two. Thirtieth June, twenty-two July, two PS, two zero twenty-two. So what? Seven, zero one, zero one, twenty-two. Thirty-first zero one, twenty-two. Then first ETS two zero two two first quarter first thirty first ETS first twenty two CP September ETS two zero Zero two two. Then again, thirtieth September twenty two. Then O C T October O P S zero two two four quarter O C T twenty two O C T. Twenty-two. The OPS two zero two 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 quarter eleven eleven and twenty-two twenty-eight twenty-two. The December OPS two zero two 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 quarter. Well, that is zero one December twenty two. 
that is set up in first December. Now we will create a adjusting period also. So I will give a name as a D J adjusting P E R I O T period. So there should be no gap on that particular part. So O P S is zero to two fourth quarter thirteen period. So thirteen and that is thirty first December. Is equal to the thirty first December. Now, save. Uh, I will mark as adjusting period, and then save the same. You can see the grid out. Now I will close. So do you want to validate the cal currently displayed calendar to to your calendar? I will say correct. So requests get triggered, and you can view alter B. Request fine. So it has been completed. Completed without any error, so we can do the output also. So here, so our calendar has been created with the no error. So by this way, we can create a calendar in Oracle EBS. And tomorrow we will see how to create chart of accounts. So. In the next video, we will see the how to create the chart of accounts. That's it for today. Thank you.